Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Wells Fargo just made huge move for gun owners, completely shuts down the left's agenda. Since the tragic shooting that occurred in Parkland, Florida early this year, liberals in America have been pushing for further gun control. Over the last several weeks, numerous marches and protests have been held to persuade Americans to demand stricter laws when it comes to gun ownership in the country. While many people have jumped on board with this radical idea, many on the conservative side have balked at limiting Americans' Second Amendment rights, which has prompted the left to explore different tactics. One of those tactics being explored is coaxing banks around the country to deny services to people who are members of the NRA, and gun makers. Now, some institutions have caved to those demands Wells Fargo has made an enormous move in defense of gun owners that have the left fuming with anger. For the last several years, the gun control debate has ramped up as liberal, and conservative individuals debate the meaning of the Second Amendment. While many on the left argue that the Second Amendment must be changed to fit the world we live in today, conservatives say that freedom should not be traded in the name of security. As gun sales continue to soar in the country, the left has been busy trying to figure out a way to stop them, and they may have found a loophole. Many activists for stricter gun laws have turned their attention to the banking institutions, pressuring them to deny transactions made by those in the NRA and gun makers. Wells Fargo was one of the first approach to drop these sort of sales, but instead of the banking giant caving to their demands, they responded by saying no. In a statement released by Wells Fargo Chief Financial Officer John Shrewsbury, he stated that the best way to change laws was through the legislative process. The best way to make progress on these issues is through the political and legislative process. In the meantime, Wells Fargo is engaging our customers that legally manufacture firearms and other stakeholders on what we can do together to promote better gun safety in our communities. Here is more from the Washington Times. The American Federation of Teachers has threatened to pull its business from Wells Fargo unless it severs ties with the National Rifle Association and gun manufacturers, but so far the bank is resisting. We're issuing Wells Fargo an ultimatum, said AFT President Randy Weingarten said in a Saturday statement. They can have a mortgage market that includes America's teachers, or they can continue to do business with the NRA and gun manufacturers. They can't do both. She released recent correspondence between the union and the bank showing that Wells Fargo CEO Tim Sloan offered to meet with her without acceding to her demand to stop offering loans and other services to the NRA and firearms companies. When dealing with the safety of our families, children, and other issues of this magnitude, there are no easy or satisfying solutions, Mr. Sloan said in an April 3 letter. In fact, as I have publicly stated, I do not believe that the American public wants banks to decide which legal products consumers can and cannot buy. He declined to confirm or discuss the bank's relationship with firearms companies, citing customer confidentiality, but Wells Fargo was described as the go-to bank for gunmakers and the NRA in a March 7 report by Bloomberg, owned by gun control activist and billionaire Michael Bloomberg. Wells Fargo has led the industry by arranging for $431.1 million in borrowing for gun manufacturers since 2012, followed by Morgan Stanley with $350 million, said the report. Mr. Sloan said that Wells Fargo home lending helped provide mortgages to 1,600 AFT members in 2017, and offers special assistance to teachers struggling to make down payments on homes through its Neighborhood Lift program. What we can pledge is that Wells Fargo will be a thoughtful participant in the dialogue and listen carefully to all voices and all points of view, taking each of them seriously, including that of the AFT, Mr. Sloan said. Ms. Weingarten responded by vowing to remove Wells Fargo as a provider of AFT member benefits and encourage the Union Privilege Mortgage Program to do the same unless he capitulates. This is America, Wells Fargo has the right to be the NRA banker, but we have rights too, Ms. Weingarten wrote in the statement. That's why if Tim doesn't ditch his guns business, we'll ditch Wells Fargo. We are glad Tim wants to meet, but no words will dissuade us from our view that our society must value people over profits. Instead of gun activists pressuring companies to influence Americans thinking they should stick to lobbying members of Congress, our government is set up to be the voice of the people and bullying them into submission is not freedom but force, which goes against our constitutional rights. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.